and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Echo Crystal. And today, we're going to go and take a small boat ride on the SS Hakor, or otherwise known as the Sakwa. Yeah, no one calls it that. Shared are easy to catch here, really? I could have done that advice earlier in the game. How many rods do you have? That's a bit of a personal question, sir. Anyway, yes, here we go. Welcome to Fast Ship SS Aqua. Who are we boarding today? Mm, well, yeah, I kind of need to to progress the storyline, so let's do such a thing. May I see your stick it? The fact you flashed the stick it. That's it. Thank ya. We're departing soon. Please get on board. No problem. Alright, so we're here on the SS Aqua. We're headed to Kanto, where we'll continue our crazy shenanigans. But first, an old man. Whoa, excuse me. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. Sister the wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. So on top of everything else I have to do for people in this game, now I have to do that. Uh, this here is our cabin. As this guy so nicely tells us, if your Pokemon are hurt, to take a nap in the bed. Well, that's always nice. Hopefully I won't need such things. Uh, my desk looks like it's covered in some sort of chain mail, but I won't argue with that. So yeah, we're just going to go around the boat and find a bunch of trainers to battle. And in the meantime, I'll catch up on what I've been doing recently. Uh, where the heck is everyone? Damn it, sightseeing peeps. Seriously, there's like, f what is this, four empty rooms in a row? Well now I'm suspecting that everyone's cabin is just exactly the same. Hello? Here's a guy. Hey, we found a guy! I'm going to Kanto to put on fire breathing shows. Yep, because people apparently do that. So yeah. I hope you guys are okay this weekend. I was at my brother's birthday party. He is five years old, so I was catching up with everyone and all that. And it's very weird when you have young siblings. Because you can kind of... Oh, okay. You can explode in my face. Uh, you can remember them not existing. Like, rather well. Like, it's fairly recent, obviously, due to his age. Oh, boy, let's switch out. Yes, a fire breather forage is probably not the best thing to do with that. So we'll go with Golduck. Fire, my one weakness. So yeah, you can kind of remember them not being around, which is very odd. It's just one day they don't exist and then bam, all of a sudden, there's another person in the world. Which, I, I mean, I know that's how life goes, but it's very strange. Just thinking about small changes that you could have made in your life that would completely make everything so different to what it is now. And, like, not having people in your life, for one thing. Not, like, taking the same path as you would have taken. And you would have ended up completely different. Just from one small change. Like, I'm gonna go, like, it's way too complicated to explain why. But if I had a different taste in music, I probably would not have gone to the university I did. And would not be where I am right now. It's very strange. One thing that is likely to have happened is that I would have played Pokemon, though. No doubt about that. I don't think anyway. But then again, who knows? It's very, very strange. But life and whatnot make the most of it and such. Anyway, here's a guy holding a boy dressed in a Pikachu suit. That's what I always find annoying, because I have a skeleton Kigu. Kigus are awesome, by the way. Oh, thank you, Delibird, for such things as that. Uh, yeah, they're basically giant onesies, and there are Pokemon ones, but nearly all of them are just Pikachu ones. I would like for other ones to be made. You can custom make some. Oh, okay, that one is a less kind present. Screw you! See, so you can have custom made ones, but they cost a real load. I assume maybe in Japan they sell them more frequently. I don't know. I'd like, for example, a Dunspus Kiku. That'd be brilliant. And I wonder how many people in the world even own such a thing. I am going to say no one. <laughs> Poor Dunspus. He needs more love. He's actually really useful in battle when you can utilize him right. Although there's only really one moveset that works for him. And that's if he has the Serene Grace ability. It's basically just flinch hacks to the max. That sounds like a band. A really, really lame, geeky band. But still a band. If the Pokemon world had bands then that would be a band name. I don't know. Anyway, Fortress is going to level up for the first time in quite some time. Very nice. So yeah, as I said before, you're strong! Why, thank you, random man. And we'll face this lady. Or maybe it's a small child. 
I assume it's a small child. You can never really tell in this game. And the same with gender. I don't remember having had, uh, having that hairstyle. But there you go. See, as I said before, these are going to be daily episodes. Which is going to be very interesting to see how I manage such a thing. But, you know. Because apparently, there's still quite a bit of this game to go. I'd say we're definitely more than halfway. But, yeah. I think most of Kanto is just going to be facing gym leaders with the occasional route thrown in. But I do intend to have these episodes be shorter, so I don't know how or if that's going to work. They're probably going to still end up being very long episodes sometimes. Like, I think one of my episodes is like 50 odd minutes, but that was a surfing episode. Which is fairly insane. <laughs> and probably would be my least favourite episode, because, I don't know, despite how much I hate surfing places, I have to explore everywhere. That's just how it goes. It's not a complete game if you don't do everything possible, or at least within the realms of realism. Well, let's keep in Gange, why not? Because if I did everything in this game, that would be completing the Pokedex. Not doing that. I don't think anyone's done that. And if someone has, then kudos to you. But I am not willing to expend as much time filming that. I do it definitely a lot of my spare time. But it's fairly strange how I, on my uh, white version, it basically has three generations of Pokemon passed down over the years. It's a dex of... Oh, I forgot how many Pokemon there are. I think there's 649. I think I have 642 Pokemon. So yeah, that's a result of years worth of collecting, and I think I've said this before, but just to emphasize, ugh, emphasize how old and how long that is, it has on it a Darkrai, which I obtained from an event at Woolworths. That is how long ago that must have been, because Woolworths, they disappeared a long time ago. I don't even know if Wolves exists outside of the UK, and of course now it doesn't even exist in the UK. Went out of business quite a few years ago. And this guy, hey guy. Could I get you to look for my buddy? I'm not your friend, buddy. He's goofing off somewhere. That lazy bum. I wanna go find him, but I'm a Jew right now. Standing here, staring at a wall. Well, you continue remaining on duty. We're going to find this random man. Um, I forget which room he's in. But there are plenty of empty rooms for him to have been in. I'm suspecting it's the top right one? I just have a hunch. I think the bottom left one had that fire breather in it. Oh no, he might actually be in the one next to me. There he is. Yeah, I'm a sealer, alright. You can tell from my white hat. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin is vacant, so I just took a quick nap. I can't even see a bed in here. There were so many empty cabins, and you went to sleep in one without a bed in. You, sir, are a fool. Sailor Stanley, with no E in it people today. Well, let's defeat his matchup, and apparently that will make him go back on duty. Oh no, Vital Throw. No worries there. Oh man, I'm digging these leftovers for sure. I just wish, I don't know, there's not much else I can give Piney in terms of movesets from here on out, so it's likely you'll be stuck with this. Of course, you never know. It wasn't until the next generation where we got a load of steel-type goodness such as Flash Cannon. Oh, come on! It is very sad, it means you can't have a good Magneton in this game. I enjoy a good Magneton, but there you go. I'm sorry if I sound a bit strange today. Uh, I didn't get much sleep over the weekend due to being occupied with birthday parties and whatnot, so I'm, I'm a bit tired. Also, I have to export this and my Mystery Dungeon video, and then upload it before midnight, because for some reason, YouTube won't let you... Oh, let's switch back on. Let's go with Gengar. YouTube won't let you schedule a video for the same day in which you decide to upload it. Which makes no sense. I think there is actually a way around it. But I don't know how. <laughs> I think you can like trick it into doing it. But it shouldn't be like that in the first place. That's the whole point. I don't know. And I notice you can't schedule videos for, say, a month's time. Which makes sense, I suppose. Because I would just enjoy, for example, just making a video and just leaving it on there for a year just to see what happens. There would be absolutely no point to that, but it would just be mildly amusing, I suppose. Ah, well. YouTube's silly, and plenty of people will argue that case also due to layout and whatnot. But anyway, we beat this... Um, we, ugh, we beat Sailor Stanley. Got some money from that. 
Being a sailor, I have to do physical labour. It's exhausting. Yeah, well, you signed up for the job. There you go. Oh, there are our beds. It's two beds, in fact. Fairly vacant room, I must say. These guys do not have much to keep them entertained. But that is not of our concern, because we are now going to continue to find this guy's granddaughter. Why he can't do it himself is beyond me. Thanks, kid. I chewed him out. You chewed him out. Good. I'm not going to ask what that entails exactly. Because <laughs> it might get a bit too personal. Let's instead fight this seasick person. And he's a juggler. Juggler Fritz. So now, Mr. Mime. Well, that is fairly appropriate. Uh, I need to switch out from Fortress. I don't know why I keep him out. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Poiple. Even though now I'm getting some sort of massive level disparity, it's getting to the point of the game where it doesn't matter that much. Roleplay. I can't say I've ever used that move in my entire life. I hope you enjoyed copying my levitate, because now I'm just going to shadow ball you in the face and defeat you. No problem. Whoop. So next that is a magma. A lot of people seem to have a magma in this game for some unknown reason. The Golduck can soon take care of such a thing. He's going to flood this ship. I wonder if like cruise ships would allow this sort of thing. Oh well. We'll defeat this magma. Wait, if that first one was a Mr. Mime, I'm trying to guess what his next Pokemon would be. Maybe Electabuzz? I don't know. No, I'm a choke. Something completely out of left field. Oh well. Back to Gengar. I think Bill and Poiple are basically the dudes of the team who basically just annihilate anything between them. Definitely my most stronger of all my Pokemon. And although Egbert did a particularly good job at roughhousing the league up, I must say. Definitely a surprise person there. And annoyingly, another Hyper Potion. I'm just going to Shadow Ball and bring you back down so there was actually no point to that. Nice. Wipe that grin off your face. And there we go. We might even let... no. No level, but never mind. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! No more ships for me. Next time I'm taking the Magnet Train. Oh right, I haven't been on a boat, personally, in a very long time. Not since I went to France a few years ago, I think. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on break. Nothing apparently also beats very strange kimono go music for a sailor, but there you go. Do you know I tell a lie, last time I went on the boat was when... Why, it was going to France. We were going to the Netherlands, which is a very nice place to use it. Hand. But now I still have Fortress in front, for goodness sake. Uh, let's go into Egbert. I haven't used you today. So we'll use you now. Yeah, boats, I don't know. They're very slow methods of transport. There's something quite nice about them. I'd rather take that than a freaking... I don't know. Planes are alright, actually. Yeah, I'm reminiscing on old transport times. I haven't been on holiday in a while, though, so there you go. Although the Netherlands was fairly recent. It's also a very flat place. Whereas other places I've been to in Europe, say Italy, the basically everywhere is just surrounding by giant hills and mountains. Which makes for a good view, not gonna lie. And this racket will not die! But now it will. So no worries there. Whoop! Nice. We just had parts of our house repainted and now everywhere smells of paint. It's not particularly nice. Yeah, we'll keep you out, Egbert. But it's okay, I suppose. I don't know. It seems to say, like, the builders of... Well, it's the, it's my landlord who tells them what to do. It seems as though they've just been instructed to do various things. They only came round to do our kitchen. But it seems now they've been, like, made to do all this other stuff. Our bathroom's breaking as well. I think they have to do something there. I don't know. It's all a bit crazy. I think in the future we definitely need to check our houses because all that I've done recently when going into a house is just saying, is it a house? Yes, let's live there. Without checking of all these problems that always come with it, you, like, it's always things that you never expect to come from a house, like, oh, there's a leak in the ceiling or something. Just things you would never expect to have problems with are always the things that comes up. It's always so trivial and silly. And I still have fortress in front, don't I? But actually, this may prove useful for Zap Cannon. It ain't for you attacking me, bitch. 
Oh, okay. Maybe you will if you hit it the next time. There you go. The annoyingly long attack. In fact, I only hit twice, which is freaking rare for the computer to do that. Oh, don't do this, Fortress. You always do this when I need you to the most. That just isn't that important, but still. I think this might even be the last train on the boat, so we actually cleared the Sakwa out fairly quickly. Now, could you please hit with the. Oh, okay. I gave you a chance. You've blown it. I gave you a chance to impress all these people. All these people who might be new to this series and not know what you're all about. But no. We'll just have Egbert do it instead. Ugh. Not flail, that would do absolutely nothing. Thunderbolt! Fairly standard procedure. And I, I notice I still haven't used charm on this thing. So I might have to replace that with something more useful. Because Egbert does not have the best type coverage. But he still seems to kick ass regardless of that. So yeah, I think that's the last trainer. Unless there's something added to this particular game. Hey, let me up the stairs! And here is the captain's room. Where we should find a small child. Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, right, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me. I have to go. I have to go find Grandpa. Oh, okay, and we're back here. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. This guy. The fashion, was it? I heard you entertain my granddaughter. I wanted to thank you for that. I know. I'd like you to have this. Apparently, methods of gratitude come in the form of giving person a metal coat. Okay. Fast ship Sakwa has arrived in Vermilion City. Alright! So that was a relatively painless boat journey. And now, we're in Vermilion City. So we're in Kanto, guys. So I'm actually wondering how best to approach Kanto in terms of... Do I want to do the gyms in original order? Or do I want to leave the gyms to later? Or will I just do them as I find them? Well, I suppose you guys will find out next time. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Doodles. Oh my god. That went a lot worse than expected. That could have been the moment. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, uh.